Hello and welcome to Speedy Medical. In this video, we are going to take on the chronic leukemias and the myeloproliferative disorders. This video is the second part of the video series on the hematology lecture and in the first part of our videos, we have covered the acute leukemias in huge detail. So if you haven't read the acute leukemias yet, I would recommend you to read the acute leukemias first and then come to the chronic leukemias. So let's start the chronic leukemias. Now as you all know from the basics there is hematopoietic stem cell. From the hematopoietic stem cell there arise two types of cell. One is the myeloid stem cell and other one are the lymphoid stem cells. Now you know from the myeloid stem cells we have myeloblast, then we have erythroblast, then we have monoblast and finally we have the megakaryoblast. Similarly, from the lymphoid stem cells, we have the B lymphoblast and the T lymphoblast. Okay. Now, if we take on the myeloblast, these myeloblasts, they will give rise to the mature cells which are called as granulocytes. The erythroblast, they give rise to the mature cells which are called as erythrocytes or the red blood cells. The monoblast, they will give rise to the monocytes and the megakaryoblast, they will give rise to the megakaryocytes and ultimately from the megakaryocytes the platelets they will arise. Similarly from the B lymphoblast the naive B cells will arise and these naive B cells they will give rise to the plasma cells and from the T lymphoblast mature T lymphocytes they will arise and these T lymphocytes will be of two types one is the CD4 positive T lymphocytes and other one are the CD8 positive T lymphocytes. So we have CD4 positive T lymphocytes, CD8 positive T lymphocytes and then we have the other cells which arise from the myeloid stem cell series. Now as I told you in the cases of acute leukemias there occurs a neoplastic proliferation of the blast. For example if there occurs the neoplastic proliferation of the lymphoid stem cells and the B lymphoblast and T lymphoblast, it will give rise to what is called as the acute lymphoblastic leukemias and these have been covered in detail in my previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, I'll also give a link in the description box and you can just click on that link. Similarly, if the neoplastic proliferation it occurs in the blast of the myeloid stem cells like the myeloblast, erythroblast, monoblast and megakaryoblast, it will give rise to the acute myeloid leukemias. Now in this video we are going to take on what happens if the neoplastic proliferation it occurs in the mature cells of these lineages. For example, if the neoplastic proliferation occurs in the granulocyte, if it occurs in the RBCs, if it occurs in the monocyte and if it occurs in the platelets or if the neoplastic proliferation it occurs in the mature B cells or the mature T cells then what will be the condition called as? So if we talk about the neoplastic proliferation in the mature cells then the neoplastic proliferation it can happen in the mature cells of lymphoid lineage and similarly the neoplastic proliferation can happen in the mature cells of myeloid lineage. If it happens in the mature cells of myeloid lineage then the disorders are called as myeloproliferative disorders. So these are called as the myelo proliferative disorders and if the neoplastic proliferation it happens in the cells of lymphoid lineage then it is called as chronic leukemia. So we have two broader terms that is the myeloproliferative disorders and the chronic leukemias. Now let's talk about what myeloproliferative disorders are and what the chronic leukemias are. So as I told you in the myeloproliferative disorder there will occur the neoplastic proliferation of the mature cells of the myeloid lineage. So depending upon which cell types they are involved in this neoplastic proliferation the myeloproliferative disorders are of various types. The first type is called as chronic myeloid leukemia. In case of chronic myeloid leukemia, there will occur the neoplastic proliferation of the granulocytes. For example, the neutrophils, the basophils and the eosinophils. 
The second subtype is called as Polycythemia vera. In case of Polycythemia vera, the neoplastic proliferation will involve the red blood cells. The third subtype is called as Essential Thrombocythemia. In case of Essential Thrombocythemia, there will occur the neoplastic proliferation of the platelets and the last subtype is called as the Myelofibrosis. And in the Myelofibrosis, there will occur the neoplastic proliferation of the Megakaryocytes and these Megakaryocytes will release some factor as a result of which the bone marrow fibrosis will also take place. So these are the basic four subtypes of the myeloproliferative disorders or the neoplastic proliferation of the mature cells of the myeloid lineage and these are the chronic myeloid leukemia, the polycythemia vera, the essential thrombocythemia and the myelofibrosis. Now let's look on what happens if the neoplastic proliferation happens in the cells of lymphoid lineage? So as I told you, if the neoplastic proliferation it happens in the cells of lymphoid lineage or the mature cells of lymphoid lineage, it is called as chronic leukemia. Now, depending upon which cell types are involved, whether they are the B lymphocytes or the T lymphocytes and what are the characteristics, these chronic leukemias are of various subtypes. The first subtype is called as chronic lymphocytic leukemia and this is the most common subtype of the chronic leukemia in adults. So this is the chronic lymphocytic leukemia. The second subtype is called as the hairy cell leukemia. I'll cover all the details regarding to these chronic lymphocytic leukemias and other subtypes in separate videos. So we have the chronic lymphocytic leukemia, we have the hairy cell leukemia, third subtype is called as adult T cell leukemia. As the name suggests, in this there will be neoplastic proliferation of the T lymphocytes, and the last subtype is called as mycosis fungioides. So we have the four subtypes: the chronic lymphocytic leukemia, the hairy cell leukemia. In these two subtypes, there will occur the neoplastic proliferation of the B lymphocytes, whereas in the other two subtypes, that is the adult T cell leukemia and the mycosis fungioides, there will occur the neoplastic proliferation of the T lymphocytes. So this is all about the chronic leukemias and the myeloproliferative disorders. If you have liked this video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and do make sure that you watch all the videos and also the videos on acute leukemias.